Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. How y'all feeling? Been a long time, huh? I haven't had an update for you in uh well I think it's about a week now, huh? <coughs> but we haven't been sitting on our butt. There's a lot of stuff that's been happening since the last time we saw each other. Um let's start first with the uh, layers. I got both sides covered. Two layers, four millimeter ply, and I uh, I like the results. I really do. It looks awesome, and she is ready for well, pretty much the shell, except the roof is ready for sanding, priming, and paints. So that's where we got so far. Also, um, my buddy Steon came over Wednesday last week and he stayed until Sunday and uh, it was a lot of help I can't explain with words how happy I was for was just to have somebody to talk to in the shop and <laughs> you know and uh, we pretty much redid the windows pretty much some of you guys with a sharp eye were able to see that the rear windows were wrong in the previous videos and you were right found uh, this uh, plan on the uh, internet for the window layout for the Boeing 737 and I got the original uh, measurements <clears throat> and uh, implemented it into this flight simulator and I gotta say the results are awesome they look they're, they're looking so much better than they did before uh, it's ready to mount a window. Uh, this is new. Um, pretty much the whole window frame on the inside of the shell. It's been redone. We cut this whole thing out. Replaced it. Mounted a new one. All the way forward. You see this little lip? That's the four millimeter millimeter, millimeter ply uh, getting ready, so the transition between the shell and the roof will be well, will be easier to figure out. So that's pretty much it for the shell. It's uh, it's it's done. It's just I'm I'm looking forward to uh, sanding, priming. Well. You have to put a little bit more work to it. And then paint. And after the paint is done, aluminum, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to cover the window with aluminum like the original thing has. Going to put in glass windows. It's going to be looking good. Look at this project. I took off the roof. And I'm getting there with the first layer. First layer of plywood was a lot of adjustments I had to had to do um, it was just a lot of work but it's it's getting there but I have a question for you guys the eyebrows you guys are, remember I told you in an earlier video that the newer Boeing 737-800s don't have eyebrows anymore well we'll, we'll we're building a our flight simulator is supposed to be uh, uh, an NG version two, so it's not. It was not originally. We planned not having uh, eyebrow windows, but I kind of like those windows. It's not a Boeing without eyebrows. I like them, but so see right, see right now, I do have the option to cut them out or leave it like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Think we should uh, leave it like it is or do you want me to cut the windows open? As, as I said, it's a Boeing 737. It's not a Boeing 737 unless you have the window frames. No, the eyebrows. So, I'm not slacking. Uh -uh. I'm working. And now, I'm going to work hard to get the roof covered 
to get it done on the outside I want to start painting this beauty and uh, start with the interior uh, I'm getting sick and tired of uh, these itty bitty works and it's just it's a lot of work you know cutting the little angles figuring out how to do this how to do that I just want this thing covered and done with on the outside so we can start concentrating on what's important it's the inside uh, I'll make another video probably tomorrow where uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks with the roof fully covered and after, after I cover it I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down here early in the morning cover the roof it's gonna take me around three hours to cover the rest of the roof and put it on and make you a video I can't wait to see how this thing looks with the roof covered it's gonna be complete shell oh my <laughs> It's uh, going to be beautiful. Guys, thanks for subscribing. And uh, last video, there was a guy that asked me if uh, I, need, I need to make sure that I videotape when I dismantle uh, the shell. And I promise you, I will. I'll show you a video of how I do it. I've done it once already, and it worked out excellent. Everything worked out perfectly. And uh, I'll show you a video of how I did it. But I don't know when. Anyway, guys, thanks. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye, people.